hearts with boughs of holly. Take the season to be jolly. Yuletide greetings, one and all. We're here back for the Transformers review. I know, I know. Boy, it's been a long time. Too long, too long, in fact. Been away from the tube of you. Um, the reasons I've been away is the fact is life got in the way. Simple as that. I'm busy. Working my ass off. But I have been uh, playing other stuff as well. It was a. Uh, Halo 4 came out and uh, I've been playing it a lot because I'm a huge Halo 4 fan. Ugh. And in between the gap of from assembly and now, I had a birthday. I turned 28. God, I feel old and I'm still buying toys. Anything wrong with that? You reckon? No? Nor do I. Um, for first, before I get on to the, with the review, I'm going to have to just go through roughly what I got for my birthday and what I picked up in between auto assembly. It's not a lot, really, but. We'll start from mediocre ones. I'll try and remember which ones are best friends and which ones I bought myself. So let's crack on, shall we? First and very least, uh, I got um, Transformers Prime Black Arachnia. Nyeh. That's all i got to say about her. She's a bit meh. Also, also picked up another Fall of Cybertron figure, which you can guess is this uh, Mr. Shockwave. Really small. Really small. But he's, again, really nice. I like that guy a lot. Also from Transformers Prime Line, I picked myself up a uh, Viacon. Normal. Oh, this is probably one of the best figures of the Prime Line, the Viacon. Well, the R.I.D. one, that is. Not the first edition, because first edition Prime rules the roost. But, outstanding. I don't, I don't care. I, he's bigger than I thought he was. I thought he'd be smaller, but he wasn't. Bigger, which is it's a nice surprise. I like those. And also from the Prime Line, I got myself a cup. Um, yeah, you know, everyone who's got one knows this stupid, uh, this bit. I just disconnect it and turned it round to sit down flush, because it's just Hasbro. What the fuck? Seriously. And what's with the paint apps? There's no paint apps. I had to paint the guns up. There you go. There you go. And his hands as well. His hands, his hands are black, because they were green before. But I, I have his guns like this, because he put them on his arms. He is iron height. I just do the cups, so his cups are holding them facing at you, which is pretty funky. The only bit of customization as well I did was the wheels. They're gold, the rims are gold, which they should be. And there's a little bit of silver on the chest, but on, the, on the chest. And that's it. I do like customizing these bots. Some of them need it drastically. And the one I picked up myself, uh, very nice indeed. Transformers Prime again, but it's the first edition Cliff Jumper. I think I paid about 13 quid for him with postage. And instructions, no packaging, but hey, oh, he's nice. He's actually a very, very nice bot. Very nice. Beats the fuck out of the R.I.D. one. Seriously does. I bought some movie toys. I can hear shouting. But bear with me. I got, I got two for the price of one in theory. Picked up. They come together. When you when you buy them in package and they come together anyway. Autobot Whirl, this is the blackout mold, which I haven't got, and I, want, I always wanted the blackout mold, so I got the Whirl, which is actually quite nice. Urgh, whirly. And of course, he came with a quite, a quite nice figure, to be fair. I like it, certainly. Uh, Bludgeon, not the big tank one, this is the thing, I think it's from the first movie, but it's Mr. Bludgeon. With a really, really cool sword trick. Yeah. So yeah, I I have a, I have two bludgeons now, <laughs> but I do like him. I want to get the uh, add-on kit for him because you can get into making him look more of a tank thingy and it gives him the skull head and the swords and make him look a bit more like bludgeon. So that's nice for those two. On to what I got for my birthday. No particular order from my girlfriend. She got me. She got me quite a few actually. <laughs> she got me the uh, the R.I.D. bulkhead. I've got the first edition one, so I've got the bolt this one as well. Uh, Alright, the first edition is vastly superior again. The, the car modes are basically the same. The two vehicle modes are dead even, fair enough. I think this one's slightly smaller, that's it. But the bot mode, this one just looks odd. 
I really actually might just, not, not this one, but to get another one of these and repaint with someone else because he's, he's, he's primed for a repaint. So it's a different head mold, head sculpt or whatever, get another new head for him and you really re repaint him with someone else and he'd probably even come off quite well. So um, she also got me the bottle of reggae reggae sauce that is Dead End, which I love this guy. I, lo I wanted to get this guy all assembly, but I did not want to pay the price for him. But I love the colours of this guy. I just love the, I just love the colours. The, the bot itself, the, the Wheeljack mould, is a superb mould. And I wouldn't mind getting the Beast Hunters one because that looks a bit more pointy in places, which is nice. So, uh, yes, that's funky. Another one from my uh, other half. She got me a Prime Rumble. And if you see, I've always had a Septicon logo on his chest because it was absent of logos apart from on his front grill thing which doesn't count. And the last one that my uh, other half bought me was uh, Transformers Prime Knockout. Uh, if you've noticed I painted him, I've customised him, I've made him look a hell of a lot better. You notice his knees have got thing, his feet are painted up, his rims are s oh, yeah, right. his, his rims are gold, his hands are silvered, he's got black on his face to make him look a bit more knockoutish. Now I varnished his, his entire body to give him that nice chromey sparkly look and he looks awesome. Awesome! Like a hot dog. And I carried on the stripes. He doesn't look exactly like the Shuraki because I can't be... F if I get the stickers maybe it'll probably look a bit better but I can't be bothered at the moment so just keep my eyes. The staff of also... Yeah, the uh, staff you can see it's uh, just, just lightly brushed it with a silver and then I coated the uh, tip with a blue transparent paint. Transparent, clear, sorry, get it right. Uh yeah. So there he is. I think he looks he look looks he looks he looks a ton better than he did before because he had no paint apps at all. It was like going about the mould thing he went, yeah, I'll put the package in, sell him for an obscene price. That was all the stuff my uh other half got me. Now the stuff that my mother, my brother and his girlfriend got me as well, I got more bots. I got more bots than I come out my ears from birthday this year, which is nice. Starting with the smallest, and I work up to what I consider the best. Uh, this guy is is exact is the, uh, the arms micron uh, vehicle. Obviously, it's the same as the, the uh, prime one, except he comes with this big ass over the top. I shouldn't be holding this gun. The gun actually does transform in in some little ways. I'll just show you. There you go, and it just flips around to like so, like this, and then these these little legs just come down like so, and the, that that's supposed to be something apparently. Uh, I don't know what, but it is. But yeah, you have to build these, which is what I like. I thought, oh, I'm gonna build something. I like building shit. It's good. All right, so yeah, he transforms exactly the same as the R.I.D. one. He is identical, apart from he's got uh, micro ports all over him. He's got that one in the back. He looks more like a Batmobile when he's transformed because he's got the port at the back for the fire with the, you know, the flame thing come out of it. And if you notice in his chest, get the camera focus, there's a Zepicon symbol. Now that is not on the glass on the outside. I took him apart and prized it and stuck it on the inside to make it look better because you can see it's slightly off-centred. I don't care. I could have broken it doing that and I nearly did so I left it where it was so... Hey, there we go. On to the next one. Now this bulky, hunky, humbering lumper of uh, black plastic is the first edition Vehicon. Now he is a lot bigger than the other ones, vehicle form and robot mode, but he looks doesn't look half as good. He's got a massive bulky kibble on the back. His arms are a bit weird, but he's actually quite nice. You, this technically what you could use is this guy as the Vehicon General. See, because I have four Vehicons now, I do want to get. I want to get um, a few more, and then uh, I'll be happy. But he's what you'd be called. Call him the Vehicon General. Yeah, he's the big lumbering guy who sits at the back shouting orders at you while Megatron clips him around the ear. But yeah, he's he's nice, bulky, big, weird ass feet leg transformation. I mean, it's like why you didn't need to do that, but they did it anyway. Mm -hmm. And last but seriously not least, Transformers Blime. Arms Micron. Flying Vehicon. A car with wings. Now this guy is awesome. He's a Batwing. Easily make a Bat. You can easily get a 
Batman head, stick it on there, paint him up more black and a bit of yellow and a sting around his waist and all that. And then you've got a Batwing. You've got a transforming Batmobile Batwing thing, which <laughs> could be quite funny. I'd like to see someone do that. But there he is. Again, the, 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 the sticker act is to remove the chest plate to stick on, which was quite difficult. Uh, these guys come with stickers. The Mike Arms, my, uh, Arms Microns comes with stickers, which is weird. And you've got to sit there and make sure you apply them all properly, and they all look nice. And one's already scagged on his, on his crotch. He's playing with himself too much. There you go. But yeah, also he already comes with the um, stupidly oversized pointless gun, which you can tab in anyway. He's got so many tabs to put the gun somewhere, so I give him the whole Predator style. He comes on his, well, not his, on his. There you go. He's got <laughs> shoulder cannon, but not an arm cannon. You can fit it on the. You can fit. You can give him an arm cannon. Give him a Megatron cannon if you really want it. But there he is. That is the last one from my haul. From auto assembly to my birthday to now. Uh, just one little thing as well. Um, what I want for Christmas? Nah, nah. I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't had a. I haven't really been having inkling of buying stuff these days. Transformers wise, the last thing I did bought was that um, cliff jumper, and that was about a month ago. Well, yeah, last month it was. So I, I'm happy with what I'm given. That's basically the thing I'm going to say here. I'm happy with whatever people buy me. I'm not going to complain. I do know one thing my, my girlfriend's got me. Because I spot it on eBay and I was going to buy it myself. But I was like, oh, I, was like oh, I ain't got much money at the moment. I'll wait till next week to get paid. Uh, it's uh, Transformers Animated Shockwave. The purple one. For 20 quid. She bought it for me. So basically that means I got a purple Shockwave animated one. Yeah, got the, got the grey one, which basically is this long arm. I keep him as long as I don't bother with him as Mr. Shockwave, because he's not Shockwave. Right, let's get on with the review, shall we? Obviously, today's review, per title page, is Transformers Botcon 2010 Cindersaur. And I'm starting him off in a, this mode, because I wanted to. And he was in this mode on my shelf, because I, I, I played with him the other night. Um, Obviously, this is a BotCon. This is the only BotCon I own. I got a auto assembly. I'm happy I got one. I went to get a BotCon. I got a BotCon. And I think it's the last one I get for a while because they're all stupidly expensive and it's like I haven't, I can't afford stuff like that. But there he is. Obviously, it's a repaint of the 10th anniversary Beast Wars Megatron mold. Just slightly smaller one. Uh, obviously, he's, he's a homage to... Was it... Um, Generation 1 Cyndasaur, which is from the correct, he's a fire con, I think he is. One of those little things you push along, but he was purple and yellow. But there is a blue in the same color, the same color as this one as well, but I don't, I'm not sure what happened with this. This guy was supposed to, came with a two pack with, um, uh, it's a repaint of Silver Streak, what's his name again? Rapido, whatever the fuck. Sounds like a cleaning agent. Go with Rapido! And, um, yeah, you have to come with him, but I didn't get him, so no, never mind, it doesn't matter. So, this is the Botcon one, the Botcon, and I love the colours on this guy. It's like the, the uh, Transformers Prime Dead End. The colours are just wrong, but they're so right. It's the garishness of it all. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, mine's got a loose jaw. I mean, see... I tried fixing it, I tried putting some glue in there and making it stay, it doesn't want to do it. And and does anyone notice this is wrong? As far as I know, a dinosaur's head didn't move when he opened his mouth. The jaw moved, but no, it's the head that moves. Got something wrong there, didn't they? Because look, my jaw moved, my head doesn't go up and down when I'm talking, does it? No. But hey ho, I digress back to the bot itself. In this mode, articulation is just basic T Rexness. You know, you got the uh, arms specially designed playing piano. Uh, legs with nice claws, nice chunky legs, which move in a generation of moves, moves, positions, whatever you want to say. Head will lean right back, and you can roar up into the heavens, and then just drop under. But the neck, the head will twist, so he can look at you. Finally, before he's going to eat you, which is quite nice. Uh, obviously, he comes with um, a Cyber Planet key, 
where you want to call it, a force chip. It's got the G2 logo on it. There you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But in this mode, you have to be quite firm of where you put it. You shove it up his ass. Near enough, look. That's where the port is on the bottom of his tail. That looks dodgy as fuck. Looks like he's having a fucking star shit or something. It's unbelievable. But lastly, that um, brings out the uh, missile launcher. With a missile, which I am going to take out before it takes someone else out. So there you go, take that out for now. But obviously that's more for when you're in his... Why do people ring at the most inappropriate times? Now where was I? Oh yeah, shoving things up Cindersaw's ass. Came off a bit weird, but didn't it really? There you go. Obviously the key, the key in that is not much use in dino mode, to be fair. This is how I normally store them anyway in dino mode, you know. Because most of my beast guys are in their uh, beast form, if they're saying fit on a shelf. Some can't fit on the shelf because they're too big. Because back in the day in the beast form, beast formers, they were big bots, not teen and getting smaller. They finally released the Fall of Cybertron Bruticus set in Toys R Us. I can't afford to buy it because I like my combinders. I really want to get them just because I have. I want another combiner. I like combiners. Has anyone seen the pictures of the combining Predaking that some third party company's bringing out? Oh, lovely. I know some of you don't like third party stuff, but you'd happily look at it and play with it if someone gave it to you. So there we go. Right, let's transform this Bluesaurus, shall we? On the battle world of Cybertron, there is a rock and a robot race. Uh, Cindersaw in his robot mode. Robot mode. And of course, he has no hands. Well, he has one hand. Which is more than the original Megatron had. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at a quick peek at this, uh, this guy's bonts. I like that. It's quite nice. The glean and the purple. Almost reminiscent of the original Cindersaw, except it should have been yellow, not. Um, thingy green but never mind I think it works quite well this is what I'm on about this detaches this just pops off like so so we have look he has a little mutton he has a little mitten <laughs> he has a little arm he's got a t-rex arms he's got t-rex arms and t-rex proper arms look at him he's a, doesn't he look cute oh bless but yeah really nice uh, he's got his, he's got a G2 symbol on the side of his thigh for some strange reason. He's got a tattoo of a Transformers logo on his thigh, yes. He's one of those sort, as you know. Now, with the leg transformation, you can do what you like with these feet, to be fair. You can have them so they're like this. Makes him a tad taller. You know, gives him much of a proper, like, robot feet. Or you can keep him in the dinosaur claw feet. Whatever you want. I don't care, I'll do that. Now when I bought this, I was not aware that it was missing a screw from his foot. So I'm annoyed that I paid 25 quid for something which wasn't complete. But broken to be no effect. But me being me, I have a little box of screws. Little tiny things from things I dismantled and taken apart and I couldn't remember where they went again. So I screwed it back in and his foot works fine now. So there you go. Look at his weapon now. This is obviously his tail gun. This is obviously where the key comes into its own little format. Then you yeah, Drop it in there, it opens up and it launches a bit of missile back in. And there's the missile, and the missile just fires. Spiky tail weapon thing. Uh, you can 
Ichio and it's almost like a kind of a a shield thing, isn't it? Really, a shield on this side, the sword on this side. But in in Beast Wars, if I remember correctly, Megatron used to pet his own hand. Then again, he used to run on roller skates. I don't know what they were thinking. But so, all in all, if you could pick this guy up, I would. I'd recommend it. One is a botcon. And some botcons are really nice. Some are overly expensive and pointless. And there was other ones there as well. Don't know why I'm eating his tail. I shouldn't do this. I'm a fiery dog. Nah, nah, nah. Tight, nah. In conclusion, I'm back. Well, it's probably my last one's the next year. And what do you want for Christmas? I don't know, Ray. Sorry, I don't. I can't think. <laughs> Many things never will have because no one's got any money that I know. I can buy them myself, but that's just pointless. Right, I'm going to end this one now. Um, I've been me. You've been you. This was Transformers Botcon 2010. Cindersaw. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and an excellent New Year. So, what I say now, apart from... Merry bloody Christmas!